Okay, so here we're going to go through loan interest rates and we're going to particularly focus on Mass Mutual here. So let's jump into it. Mass Mutual, their 2020 dividend rate will be 6.2%. And they have two loan interest rates available. They have a variable loan rate, which we're going to go into full detail on, and then they have a fixed loan rate. Quick side note to the two. If we elect the variable loan rate, what happens is the policy functions as a non-direct recognition policy. If we select the fixed loan rate option, the policy will function as a direct recognition contract. Now, one thing I will add, on that fixed loan rate, if we utilize that, we do not have the ability to use certain riders Mass Mutual provides to build in flexibility. So we rarely use it. Let's get into the variable loan rate, how it works. Because I hear the term variable, and what do I think? That rate can just shoot up on me. Well, firstly, what it is tied to. So Mass Mutual as a company sets a floor for their variable loan rate of 5%. That is as low as it can go for all policyholders. It's been there for several years now as the loan interest rate has been, the interest rate environment has been very low. Now that floor, what it is tied to, I should say what their variable rate altogether is tied to is Moody's corporate bond index average. To sum it up, a triple A rated bond. Now, the variable loan rate with Mass Mutual as a company is tied directly to that average bond index rate. As one goes up, the other can go up and down with it. Now, the floor for the company's rate, again, is 5%. There's no floor for this. It's been 3% and change, probably right around 3.5% right now. It's been under 5% for several years. Point being, the company's rate will adjust with this bond rate unless it's below 5%. That's why the company has had a variable loan rate at 5% for so long. Now, let's say that the rate shoots up from 5% to 8%. Mass Mutual as a company, well, their variable loan rate will shoot up from 5 to 8%. Here's the thing. For a policyholder, I've got protections, meaning if I start a policy today, what's the date today? November 19th, 2019. And the variable loan rate is 5% as a policyholder. So November 2019, variable loan rate is 5%. Give ourselves some more space here. So variable loan rate is 5%. November 2020, we'll say Mass Mutual as a company. Let's assume the loan interest rate shoots up to 10%, which won't happen, but let's say it does. Does that mean as a policyholder, my loan rate will increase to 10% as well? The answer is no. I have protection on how much the loan rate can increase per year. Here's how it works. If I start with a 5% rate, the maximum my loan rate can increase per year is half a percent. So what this means is if the insurance company's loan interest rate goes from 5% to 10%, my rate as a policyholder will go from 5% to 5.5%. It cannot increase by more than half a percent per year or 50 basis points. Now, with that said, let's say over a course of 10 years, my loan rate as a policyholder shoots up to 10%. So variable loan rate eventually gets up to 10%. And then we'll assume that 
as a company, their variable loan rate plummeted. Goes back down to 5%. As a policyholder, remember I'm at 10, it's gradually creeped up. I will experience a drop all the way back down to 5%. There's no floor on how much it can go down with the exception being the 5% floor. Now, an item we have not touched on yet is when does my variable loan rate adjust with mass mutual? Which if I started a policy on November 19th, 2019, and what's going to happen is November 19th of each year is when the company will look at what is their loan rate as a whole as an insurance company, what's my loan rate as a policyholder, and that's what is going to be pegged to my insurance policy. So it, it can adjust every year on my anniversary date depending on what the actual variable rate is at that point in time. Let's look at an example next. Let's assume that we have a policy where I have cash value of $100,000, nice round number. We've got the 2020 dividend rate of 6.2%, and we are assuming the variable loan rate, which is presently at 5%. If I, if I have $100,000 and I'm gonna borrow out half of it, $50,000, that means my loan balance is going to be 50,000 at 5%. That 5% obviously equates to $2,500. That is loan interest that goes where? Not back to myself. To the insurance company. Now, as a policyholder, here's how it works for me. That dividend rate of 6.2% continues to accrue. I'm still going to earn dividends on the full $100,000 as if I never touched the money in the first place. No lost opportunity cost, keeps on going. Now, that dividend rate, 6.2%, will be applied to any money in cash, and also the same to any money outstanding in loans. A non-direct recognition policy does not recognize the fact that I have a loan outstanding. Money keeps on churning, doing, the, doing exactly what I want it to do. Let's look at a quick example here. So what we have is a policy of a 40 year old male first paying in 50,000 a year for 10 years. The first example is pretty straightforward in the sense that we're gonna look at the policy accumulation and really what it looks like if I just park money and let it sit and grow. So here's my 50K for 10 years. This policy is designed with a 1090 split meaning 5K base premium, small term rider, everything else plowing into PUAs, cash value. So 50 in year one, 44 just about at the end of the first policy year. How that's so cash rich up front, if this is the first time I've seen a high cash value policy like this, non-MEC, all that good stuff, this is a 1090 split. We drove the premium insurance expenses down as low as the company limits and IRS would permit. Break even point between years four and five. That's all set up properly. What we can also look at here, your year four cash, 195. Death benefit, 1923. Year four cash on the example on the right, which is the exact same policy, except we're going to look at borrowing and then repaying. I want to see exactly what that loan will look like on a mass mutual policy. Okay, as we scroll here, here's my 200K loan that we pull out. $200,000. When I pull out 200K, here's what's going to happen. My loan balance, loan interest each year. So you see the 5%, $10,000, that loan interest each year. We're gonna start repaying it at 20K per year. We can make the repayments whatever we want. The point is here, whatever you see this loan interest amount, we put this column in here for this reason, each year, this is the interest expense 
that goes to the insurance institution, the 5% charge. Important to be aware of that. We do not pay the loan interest expense back to ourselves. Now, you see the loan balance chip away. I'm paying 20,000 a year. Whole purpose of this is when I borrow money, I'm still receiving the dividend on what? My entire cash value. So here I pull that 200K. Equity dropped from 195 to 42 versus over here it's 252. Cash value is the equity I have access. That's the money I can pull out. Now they're telling us they're still going to pay a 6.2% dividend rate on the full cash balance, as if I never pulled it out in the first place. How they do that, one, there is an interest expense, but mainly they collateralize my death benefit here. Look at the two death benefit values, and what do I notice? Dollar for dollar reduction. I pull out 200000 I see a $200,000 reduction on the total amount of life insurance. Remember, a life insurance company's first and foremost goal is to do what? pay out life insurance claims. So if I die with a loan outstanding, that means they have to pay that much less out if a claim is paid out, if I die. Now really what I want to look at here is the loan interest expense. That's money that's going to Mass Mutual every year at 5%, but they're still paying me dividends as if I never touched the money in the first place. So what you will find, and this will be very consistent if I pay a loan back in a year, five years, 20 years, whenever, if it's paid back, I pay back the principal and interest, I don't throw anything extra into the policy, I'll see my cash value and death benefit restored to exactly what it would have been as if I never touched it in the first place. Non-direct recognition. The company does not recognize the fact that I have a loan outstanding if I selected the variable loan interest rate on the policy. So that is Mass Mutual's variable loan rate. And that's all I got. More to come in the future. <laughs>